What was Oxford like growing up? Well, I've lived here all my life. Children played at the park. Um, it was always quiet. You didn't have to worry about locking your doors. You didn't have to take your, your car keys in the house, anything like that. So it was, it was good growing up here. Most of the kids knew each other. They played together and of course, the African-American kids, they, they stayed in their neighborhood. But when we came here, everybody played together and got along. The school had been closed for, what, uh, 10 years? And then suddenly it was um, slated for destruction. That was very upsetting to people because suddenly it was like they're losing, even though you know, they hadn't really formulated a plan to do something with it. They were losing a member of the community. And that destruction order galvanized this little group of people saying, who like saw what was happening with the town, believed that the town needed, you know, a life uh, community center, literally, to, to keep life in Oxford alive. And everyone basically got on the bandwagon and said, we can't let this happen to Oxford. We weren't sure we were gonna succeed. And there was a lot of skepticism. I must tell you, there were many, many skeptics, not the least of whom were a couple of members of the Oxford Commission. They said, okay, we'll, we'll play a game, but we don't think you can make it. And, uh, but as I said, um, getting, getting the community involved the way <clears throat> they did, uh, getting the petition out and getting so many people interested in it, I think uh, really turned the corner for us. My first impression of the Oxford Community Center building was driving down here from Philadelphia and passing the building and, you know, really turning my head, saying, whoa, that building has good bones. The, the strong colonnade, the, the giant lunette windows, which at that time were closed up and the, and the nice roof pitch made me think that this is a real piece of architecture here on the Eastern Shore. There was a drop ceiling in the great central atrium space and no one knew it was there. So pretty early on there was a, a ladder and I think I said, hey, what's up? There's a hatch up there. Do you, you mind if I take a look? They held the ladder, I climbed up and I I think I had a little flashlight and I couldn't believe it when I looked up there and saw that great atrium roof structure with those steel trusses and the remains of the lunette window openings which had been closed up. So that was kind of the aha moment for, for all of us is to learn the great potential that that central atrium space had. The community center serves a purpose and I saw that. It could bring people together whether it be the projects or just having a, a venue. If you wanted to be active in the community, you could be a volunteer. If you had an idea you wanted to execute, here was a place that said, well, if you think it's good enough, you can do it. So that is one or many of the reasons that I've stayed involved. That, that was very special about the small town, how the kids could ride their bicycles to camp, and I think that was a requirement. But uh, and having a, having a gathering place. The only other gathering place was the town hall and that wasn't uh, suitable for a lot of things. And it, all, all the things evolved and, and most of the things were suggested in those meetings. I think everybody got their wish. Preserving the school was um, important on a lot of levels. It wasn't just the building. It was a preserving a way of life and also creating a new way of life. So my father, he was a great salesman. If he had been in sales, you know, he would have done really well. But what he, we, he could do is tell a story. And so what he did was craft, what is the story that we want to tell? 
And that became the sales pitch, so to speak. And it was such a compelling story that it sold. Oh, I think I think it's definitely uh, important to Oxford to have the center. It it gives everyone a place to go right here to participate in well cooking or plays or learning different things and just meeting for coffee in the morning. I think for I'm sure for a lot of these people, and I, I don't I don't know what people would do without it really. When I come here, every time I come in here, even today, it brings back so many memories. You know, like like this room was our first grade room. Just the, the memories here, you know. I'm so glad that they they kept it. It has a it's, it's, it has a lot of memories for a lot of people. One of the things that the community center actually became was a place where newcomers could actually gravitate to because they were welcome. So I think that the community center and having that uh, an open door policy is really important. You're welcome. We really, we, we think that we are a home for everybody. <laughs>